Hey guys, I am back and I know it looks like a vlog but it's not a vlog so I'm sitting outside of Ulta because I'm gonna go in there and do some damage. You guys, I haven't been to Ulta for like two and a half years already. It's been that long. So I was like, I know I'm overdue, my birthday's passed but I was like, that's what I'm gonna get myself. I'm gonna go to Ulta and just spend my life away. So I'm gonna bring you guys along to my Ulta trip and then I'm gonna do a haul for you guys so you guys can see all the new goodies that I picked up at Ulta. So I'm really excited. Let's go. share with you guys what I picked up at Ulta this is literally the third the third the third time that I'm sitting here to film this video for some reason or another I just didn't like the way the other two videos were coming out so I was like okay third time's a charm I'm gonna sit down and film it again one last time so however this comes out this is what you guys are gonna get because this is my third time and I just been wanting to share these products with you guys and I also want to Put them away because I've had them in my bag for a while. I have used them already. I couldn't hold, couldn't hold it anymore. It's been a while, and I've been filming it trying whenever I have find a time. But I was like, I need to film it until I'm happy with the outcome. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. So let's not even make this a long intro. Let's just get started with the haul. So I'm sure a lot of you already know that Ulta is now carrying the Mac Cosmetics line. And I was really excited because like everything that I want, I'm going to just go and buy at one store. Unfortunately, I was going to have to make two trips to two different Ulta's. And both of those stores did not carry the MAC Cosmetic line yet. So I had to make a third pit stop to the actual MAC store. Just to pick up two things that I really wanted though. So I was like, no, this is my makeup day. I'm going to buy makeup today and I'm going to buy everything that I want today. Even though I left without two things that I still want. But that's okay. So, I'm going to share my two uh, products that I got from the MAC store. So, the first things first, I got finally the MAC Prep and Prime uh, setting spray. Um, I've been wanting, I needed a new setting spray and I've been wanting to try the MAC Prep and Prime. So, I really wanted the coconut scented one. The, I believe it's the pink one because I think they have like four different scents or something like that. But they only had the actual, like, regular one. So I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it now because I'm not going to want to come and make another trip just for the spray. So I'll go ahead and try the, the coconut one some other time. If you've tried it and it really does smell good, leave a comment below to say, yeah, it's worth it. Give it a try or it's not even all that or it doesn't really smell coconut. So you'll be okay because I love coconut scented stuff. So that's why I really wanted that one. And then the second thing that I got from MAC, it is the MAC uh, lip liner, lip pencil in the shade Whirl. And I really just wanted this um, lip liner because I wanted one, to line my lips. And two, because I wanted to wear it um, as a base coat for either like new lips or just under lip gloss. So I wanted to get this one. Those are my two things from MAC. So now finally moving on to the good stuff, to Ulta. It felt so good walking in there. I had not been there for like over two years. So I was like, I'm finally here. I'm going to shop. It felt so good. I'm going to just pull things out at random and just share with you guys. So the first one is the this It Cosmetics uh, Sunshine and a Compact A Bronzer in the shade Warmth. And I initially went in to get the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. But they did not have the shade that I wanted. I wanted the deeper one. And they didn't have it. They had like the medium tone. So I opted for this one. I really love the It Cosmetics line. So I figured it would be nice to try. And that so far, I've been liking it. I think this is like my third time using it. And I absolutely love it so far. So I think it is a keeper. And then the next item is this Cover FX. It's custom enhanced drops and it is this um, like the illuminator like to sort of give you like that Natural glow that you put on like under your foundation and I was going in for the 
Becca Cosmetics in the shade Opal. Unfortunately, I did not come up with that one, but not because they didn't have it. Actually, no, I don't think they actually had it, but when I was asking, like, oh, do you, you know, do you guys carry those highlights in stock? Or can you check the girls? Like, oh, well, how did your skin? She started asking me questions, how my skin is, all that good stuff. So I was like, well, right now it's a little bit, like, normal to dry, but usually, like, in the warmer weather, it does get oil in my T-zone. So she introduced me to this this one, and she said this is usually for normal skin, and it's, like, all year all year round, and it doesn't make your face more oily because I guess the Becca Cosmetics one makes it a little bit more oily. That's what she said. I trusted in her word. So I was torn between this one and another one that I think it was something like bronze or something with the bronzier stuff. But it gave you more of a bronzy, bronzier um, looking skin. So I was like, well, let me try this one first and see how I like it. And if I do like them, um, I can try the other one more towards like the summertime so I can have more of a tan sort of glow. And I've only tried the drops one time, so I need to try a little bit more times, but I love the glow. I love having a glow, especially this one. She said it gives you more of a subtle, natural glow. So I was like, okay, let me let me take this one and give it a try and see how I like it. I finally got my Mara Badescu. I have been wanting this one for quite a few months already. I mainly wanted this one not as a setting spray, but more of a hydrating mist. So I've been using it every single night. Um, after I shower, I put this to hydrate my skin under on top of a serum. And I love what it does to my skin. I love because I actually do feel my skin getting hydrated. Right now, my skin tends to dry up a little bit. But there's only thing that I don't want, it, that, I don't, that I don't like, and it is the scent. I got the Alo Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I'm not much of a fan of the floral scents and this is really really florally so every time I like spray it I'm like take it with and then let it out but um I think next time I'm gonna try the lavender one I think the lavender 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 is more of a calming sort of scent you know to relax and I think it's perfect especially for the nighttime so that's the only thing I didn't really like but I do love the actual formula and at times I do put it on also um, before I apply my makeup just to kind of hydrate before I apply all the good stuff. Then I got the LA Girl, this one I haven't tried yet, the LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer and I got it in the shade Toast. Um, it seems a little bit too dark but I think it'll be great because eventually you're going to eventually blend everything out. I got it to contour so I think this will work really good. Then I got the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation in the shade Pure Beige Pure Beige 2C1. And this foundation I really love because it is a full coverage foundation. So it is perfect to cover, you know, any like uh, blemishes or redness or any of that, you know, good stuff that we get. Um, the only thing that I got was I just opted for like it seemed like my my tone, but it's a little bit more warmer than what I usually get than my actual um, skin. So I have to like really blend it out down below, like in my neck. Um, and I started mixing it with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, so it can sort of like even out and tone out a little bit. But aside from that, um, adjusting that I need to do, I really do love it. I think I'm gonna keep on repurchasing this one. I really love the coverage. This is not really what I would use on my day to day. This is more of my weekend sort of thing because that's usually when I do more of a glammed out sort of look. And then for my next um, pick from Ulta is the uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Oh my goodness, I've been hearing people raving about this concealer for so long and I was like, I need to jump on the bandwagon and just try it out. I've been so loyal to my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because it is super affordable and it works really great but this one is amazing and I got it in the shade light medium because I wanted to use it to to conceal to cover and also to brighten a bit so so far I am loving it definitely worth and it's definitely worth it and really like and now I understand and know why everybody raves about it because it really is a good um, concealer and then I ended up getting this um, Lancome mascara in the shade 1. 
is the new black it is absolutely amazing I have it in my lashes today I don't know if you can see but this mascara I am a sucker for mascaras if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I'm always about trying new mascaras and what's good and what's not this mascara is amazing it is worth every single penny that you spend in it I would definitely be repurchasing again I absolutely love it it gives you so much volume to your lashes it is insane. I just absolutely love it. You guys just need to try it out. It's really, really good. I highly, highly recommend it. And then last but not least, this is the only item that I saved on purpose till the end because I absolutely love it and I had been wanting to get my hands on it for a while. It is the Dose of Color Blushing Berries Palette. This palette has five um, beautiful colors. It is just amazing. It's like a black and it has like a wine sort of color. Then you have like a mauve berry color. It's like a dark mauve wine. It's more like a berry mauve. It's like a softer, darker sort of pink blush and like a really light sort of peachy color here. And I just really liked it because I feel that you can these are like colors that I really like to do, especially like for the spring and like summertime, more like spring. But you have the black, which you can do like a smoky eye and do more of like a nighttime look. And then you can work with like these three colors here or like these two for like an every like day to day type of look. So I just thought there was so much to do with this palette and I really wanted to try it. I have another one. It's more of like um, new tone. So I still do want to get that one. But this is the first one I was like, I need to have this one in my life. And I was so that is it for my Ulta haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to link all the products down below. So make sure you check that out if you're interested in trying any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Also, my videos I know come at random right now. I know you guys are like... BS, you're not going to be consistent because that's what you always say, but I really am trying so hard to do it this time around. So, just don't forget to turn on the notification bell just so you can be notified when I finally upload a new video like today's. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.